Hello, this is Paul Sidwell, and I'm just going to walk you through some aspects of formatting papers for JSEALs using the downloadable template. We have open in front of us the 2015 template. Uh, just check that this is the one you've got, 2015 here in the header. Also, current editor-in-chief, Dr. Mark Alves, is indicated. This shows you that it's the most recent template. Also, on my left, I just have a, an old draft paper, and we're going to cut and paste some text from here to there in order to show you how the features work. But first of all, some don'ts. Please don't try to format your paper according to the template before it's been accepted through the review procedure and the editors have directed you to format it. Also, when you do format it, don't worry too much about absolutely every detail. As long as you follow these directions, the editors will be able to clean up the final formatting. And make sure you don't do anything with the headers or the footers. These will be attended to by the editors. Okay, so what I have here is the template open in Word 2010 on a PC. Other versions of Word and other platforms will be very similar. There are plenty of resources on the web, YouTube videos, etc., which also show you how to format in Word. And it's appropriate if you have a different version of Word or a different uh, computer platform that you look up those. But this one will give you the basic idea no matter which platform or version you're using. Okay, now the first thing we do is in the Home menu, we go and click over here. When we click this Show Hide button, it reveals the paragraphing, space marks, and tab marks. This is really important for formatting. A lot of people aren't really aware of these and consequently make all sorts of mistakes. But if you show these, then you can be very sure that you're applying formatting correctly. Also, we need to show the Styles menu. Normally, there's a quick Styles menu up the top here which shows the default word styles. We've created some styles for JSEALs. To get the full palette, we click this little box here and it comes down on our right. And as you can see, we have all these various JSEALs named styles that we've created for you. Now, you have two ways to go. You can just type in the text you want over the top of any given piece of text, or you can paste in. For example, if I go over here and I just select this piece of text, copy and paste, and then I paste over the top, you see it comes in in the style. If it doesn't appear in the desired style, go down and check, click here, JSEAL's title, and that'll make sure it's in the style you want. Similarly, with your name, affiliation, email address. All JSEAL's papers have to have an abstract. We recommend 100 to 200 words. Not too long. After all, it's supposed to be abstract, right? It shouldn't be a mini version of the paper with data and lots of details. It should be a general statement about what the paper is about and what it's claiming. That's all. Also, we do expect several key terms. These are useful for searching. And also ISO 6393 codes. Some people don't like these, but they've become an international standard. So please, any language for which there is data or discussion in your text, please list all of the ISO 6393 codes here. Each of these items has a style associated with it. Abstract title. Abstract text. Also use the abstract text style for these two lines. I'll show you what happens when there is no styling. I select all these and I go to clear all. This just goes to the default styling. The trick with applying styles is that you select within a paragraph. 
don't highlight a bit, just select placing the cursor within the paragraph somewhere. Then go to the appropriate style, this one's abstract title, click, and there you go. Again, place within the paragraph, abstract text, click, beautiful. And we like these to be in bold, so we just select and embolden them. These also took the style because, note, these are line breaks, not paragraph breaks. So these are all within one paragraph, and therefore they acquire the style. Now let's move on to the text of your paper. Of course, we have section headings. And in JSEALs, we have four levels of headings. We request that you use no more than four, and we prefer no more than three. It really gets too complicated if you go further than that. So, you just type in the name of your heading, or paste over, as we've been doing. Also, note that between paragraphs, there's no paragraph spacing. The styles allow for spacing above and below the lines where appropriate. Again, no paragraph mark between these paragraphs, no paragraph mark between this paragraph and this quote, and so forth. The only times we use paragraph marking, sorry, we use paragraphs to create spaces is between examples, such as down here, or if necessary, between figures and tables and text, although often this is unnecessary. Generally, we expect you to absolutely minimize the use of paragraphs for spacing. Now, we have two text styles, paragraph 1 and paragraph 2. What this means is, the first paragraph within a section is not indented, and we use the paragraph 1 style. All subsequent paragraphs are indented. Don't use the tabs to indent. Don't use spaces to indent. I'll give you an example. So let's clear this one. Let's assume that the text over here is our second paragraph. We go and paste it in. We select J Seals Para 2 style. Beautiful. You don't have to worry about putting in spacing or alignments. It's all in the style. Similarly, we have a block quote down here. If your quote is going to be more than a couple of lines, put it in a separate block quote like this, and we have a block quote style. In my original text up here, I've got a block quote. Let's say I paste it in. Let's go to, let's select within, select long quote style, beautiful. And we proceed accordingly. Here's a level 2 heading. Notice that the difference between it and the level 1 is mainly that it's italicized even though it's still bold. Scrolling down, level 3 headings are italicized, not bold, and level 4 headings are just plain. Now, if you're putting examples, glossed examples, into your text, this is very important. We number them consecutively, and we only use tabs to separate items. Use only single tabs. Do not use space characters. Space characters look like this. See these little dots? Don't use those. Only use tabs for alignments and only use single tabs. This way, we can't muck up the alignments if we change the formatting or any other aspect of the paper. Also, we can easily convert it to a table and the alignments are preserved. We have a glossed examples 
style over here. So you'll notice these are all in glossed example style, but we have to manually apply italic to the first line. Also, as far as possible, if the language is not in orthography, please put the vernacular in IPA, in phonemic transcription. And please use IPA standards, not local variants. Okay, scrolling down, we also see footnotes. Notice we have a JSEAL's footnote style. Again, the default in Word is to have an indent in the first line. The JSEAL's style for footnotes has it all justified and tabbed in one. Also, there's formatting for figures and tables. As of 2015, we've decided to have the same style underlining both figure and table titles. So we have a figure table style. So apply that to any images or tables. It will make them centered. And put in your title and select figure table heading. And then make sure this part is bolded and this part is italic. When it comes to listing your references, we use the level 1 heading to indicate references and we have a references style. Again, remember, don't select parts of the text, just place the cursor within the text.